Fantastic human. Hello, it's Robsy here with Paperless X. The first part of this comparison covered the basics of GoodNotes and Noteform. And in this part two, we're going to be looking at all the items that you can add in both apps to see which app gives you more options. Let me check what this area is about. I'm not seeing anything, so maybe it's just a bug. Let's start with shapes, and both apps have a dedicated shapes tool. We'll focus on note for first. The shapes tool is limited to these 10 shapes. The cloud shape you can't hand draw. And in that case, you definitely want to use the shapes tool. But the other regular shapes, you definitely can draw them. In Good Notes, whether or not you select the Shapes tool, you can hand draw them anyway. But both apps can't draw clouds, which is probably why Note 4 has a dedicated shape for it. But in either app, you can draw both regular and irregular shapes. You can also add fill to your shapes, but Nofu is more flexible with that because you can add or remove your fill shape from your shape. It can either be translucent or opaque, but it has to be the same color. In Good Notes, once you've drawn a shape without a fill color, you can't change it. The same applies if your shape is filled, you can't remove it but you can change the fill color so your shape border can be different from your fill color. The only catch is that this doesn't work for your circular shapes. I don't use shapes much in my notes, but I appreciate how that's helpful where you have different colors for your shape borders. Shapes aren't very flexible in good notes though because after changing the color and adjusting it a little bit, there's pretty much nothing else you can do with your shapes. In note form, you can adjust your shape, change their border color, change their border type to make it dashed or dotted. And for that, in good notes, you have to draw them, but you can't change them. At least in good notes, they have a fill color, which you do not have in note form. But um, in note form, once your shape border is dashed or dotted, you can't fill it. So that can be a bit of a limitation. I just like the fact that in note form, you can change things around in case you change your mind. That flexibility is very important. Removing the shape border in good notes is possible as a workaround. But in note form, is an option you actually have in your notes. This also lets you adjust the border thickness from three options, but the variety is not impressive. Another feature you have in Note 4 that you don't get in Good Notes is opacity. There's no clear winner on this one. Both apps have a decent shapes tool, but you know, can't really pick one. Did you find features that made you lean towards one app over the other? Do tell. Tape covers your notes to help you with active recall. Note 4 has five fixed sizes for your tape. But GoodNotes has a range from 1 to 15.4 millimeters. The range in Note 4 is more practical, even though it's fixed because the thinnest in good notes is too thin, but the thickest is not thick enough. The apps also differ in how your tape looks. I prefer the plain one in good notes. That's because I'm a minimalist. I'll get anything plain any day over something that is not. But both apps support any color you want for your tape, and it's fairly easy to do that in either app. When revealing your answers, GoodNotes leaves a light highlight on it, which I really like. 
NOFO has a different approach to that, which is an approach that we're used to because that is the setup we've seen in every other note-taking app. So it's not new, it's not exciting, but I really like how GoodNotes does this. NOFO can reveal or hide all your answers on the page at once, which is an option you don't get in GoodNotes. It also has a tape that can cover massive parts of your notes, which is something that I've never appreciated until now because such a task in GoodNotes is a painful one, especially because the 15 millimeter thickness is not that thick. Though I prefer the look in GoodNotes, the tape is more functional in Noteful, so I'll choose that one any day. Which of these two do you guys prefer? Let me know. Both apps have a decent collection of fonts and they support custom ones. What more can you ask from a note-taking app? They both have a good range for your font size. Though they have different scales for it, both work pretty much the same because they get about to the same size. I love how easy it is to change your font color for all the text in your text box for both apps. In Nofu, formatting is also very easy. But with good notes, you have to select the text, even if you want to change all of it, which can be confusing, especially when you want to format all your text. You also get alignment options, which are pretty similar. In both apps, you can add a background color for your text box. In GoodNotes, the background and border color of your text can be different, an option you don't have in Outfall. But your background can be translucent, which you can't do in GoodNotes. The border thickness for your text boxes in Noteful is terrible because the options look the same. But in GoodNotes, you have a better setup because it's very easy to tell the thinnest and thickest options for your border. Noteful then makes up for that with different border types that can be dashed or dotted, which GoodNotes does not have. So it just feels like most of their features are just cancelling each other at this point. In both apps, you can resize and rotate your text boxes. You can save one favorite style for text boxes in both Noteful and GoodNotes. More would be nice to have though. If we could save more styles, that would be better. Noteful lets you add web links to your notes. Just paste it into your text box, but it doesn't look or feel great. Who else prefers dressing up their links in text? Because I know I do. And that is the option you have in GoodNotes, which I absolutely love. Even better, you can link to pages in any notebook in the app. And even to those that are in the same notebook. Not many note-taking apps support hyperlinks, so this is very exciting, and GoodNotes definitely takes a crown for this one. Text boxes are without doubt better in GoodNotes than they are in Noteful. GoodNotes also has body text, and this opens an opportunity for more structured type notes with headings, captions and lists. It's an option you don't get in Noteful, but it's also still very basic in GoodNotes. I'm happy to see all the supported levels for the numbered lists and hope to see that for the numbered lists in the future. You also get text alignment and basic formatting options for your body text and that's pretty much all there is to it. It's great to have, but for a handwriting note taking app, it's probably not necessary. 
I like that in Novo you can resize your images without worrying about its rotation. We were hoping that GoodNotes would have separated the two by now, but I guess not. Both apps can crop your image as a rectangle and freely. You can only truly appreciate freehand cropping in Notful though because of the image frames you get in the app. GoodNotes doesn't have any frames for your images. It also doesn't have any opacity option, which Notful does. Images are better in Notful than in GoodNotes 6. GoodNotes has a better collection of stickers than Notful. Which is strange because the stickers in GoodNotes aren't even that great. In Notful, the simple stickers are just to show you that you can add stickers to the app, but you won't get much to work with. In both apps, you can bring in your own stickers and it's fairly easy to do that. I wish both apps supported GIFs because these are actually animated stickers. So saying that animation would have been great. In both apps, you can also create custom stickers if you like. The cool thing about stickers in Note 4 is that you can use the stickers from your keyboard as well. They're pretty easy to use once you have them in the app. They just work like images, but you don't have that option in GoodNotes. You can't add your stickers from the keyboard. You only get the emoji keyboard. That's all. The recording tool in both apps is all right. It's acceptable. Only Notability has an exciting playback tool, so nothing to be super excited about, especially in Noteful. GoodNotes, on the other hand, has live transcription that happens on device. It makes it much more useful than the one in Noteful if you prefer working with text in the app. It doesn't make sense to me though in a handwriting note taking app, but if you do work with a lot of text or if you have a lot of audio that you need to transcribe, then GoodNotes is probably a better app for that. How do you guys feel about this? Do tell. Timers are the new hot feature in handwriting note taking apps. Which timers do you guys prefer? A big or small one? The one in GoodNotes is obviously too big because it takes up too much space, but I think the one in Note 4 is perfect and would have loved if it stayed visible. Unfortunately, both don't stay visible. I don't want the one in GoodNotes, I would want the one in Note 4, but they still just disappear when you start using the app. The labs in GoodNotes are great to have for a stopwatch, but you don't get that in Note 4. I really like how Notful has implemented this tool because this is the first time I'm seeing it, actually. The Time's Up warning is great, but GoodNotes gives you more options. You have modes and history. You can save your favorite timers and track past sessions. If you use this tool often, those options are very important. I have to go with GoodNotes on this one because it just gives you more to work with. Let me know which of the two you guys like. Until recently, sticky notes have been limited to comments. But now, they seem like an independent feature. Seem being the key word because we can still reply to our sticky notes, which is odd and something that we've never seen anywhere else. I like how they're evolving though because now the comment stickies have three sizes, and color options. We can also write on them and it actually sticks. The developers still have a lot of work on these though, but the progress is exciting. How do you guys feel about the new sticky notes in GoodNote 6? Do tell. With all the items we can add to our notes, a selective lasso tool is a must-have. GoodNotes is selective for more items than Noteful, but it is not selective for the highlighter. I don't remember ever wanting to move the highlighter alone, so not sure how useful this option is. 
The app is also selective for shapes and images, but GoodNotes is only selective for images only. It is also selective for tape, comments, and sticky notes, which Note 4 is not. But perhaps more important than selectivity is the ability to move items across pages. GoodNotes can do that only if you're using the lasso tool. We still can't just pick up items and move them across pages, which is really important. GoodNotes is the first handwriting note taking app I've seen to have this limitation, which is not great. But in Note 4, you can easily pick up anything and move it anywhere you like, and that makes for a better experience. At this point, I can't decide which app I would go for. I was a Note 4 user for a very long time and I still love the app. It's just that my note taking needs have changed. But so far, nothing in GoodNotes has moved my heart and I'm curious to know if you're a GoodNotes user, are you leaning towards Note 4 yet? Can't wait to see how the tide changes with the third part of this review to see if I would be convinced to go for one app over the other and why. And that brings us to the end of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.